Frank, how did you feel in, in taking on uh, such a challenge uh, for the Lord in, in going out to that community and reaching out to them? serve the Lord over there just as well as you could over here, couldn't you? Clyde and Teresa Walters, Fred and Edna Lowry, Bonnie Henderson, and Frank and Louise Bly. You may not recognize those names, but they are the ones who stepped out in faith to begin what we now know as Christ's community. In 1960, they left First Baptist Church in Huntersville to begin our church. They didn't have a pastor. They didn't have much money. But what they had was the enduring word of God. They had a burden in their heart for the lost to know Jesus. And they had a seed of faith. And we sit here now, all these years later, as a fruit of their faith. Today, Christ Community is reaching teenagers and students, a, a new generation with the gospel of Jesus Christ. We're training pastors and church leaders. We're sending missionaries to the nation. We're on the backside of a worldwide pandemic. And what are we doing today? We're doing the same thing that Frank and Louise Blythe were doing all those years ago. We were, we're, we're forwarding the gospel. That's what we get to do is forward the gospel as God's people. And today I want to, to share with you some exciting news in the way that Christ Community is continuing to forward the gospel and to forward faith. You know, we have our own Frank and Louise Blyce right now in our congregation in the name Rob and Audra Paget. The Pagets have had a burden for their community to know Jesus. They live in the Denver Iron Station area of Lake Norman. And for the last couple of years, they've had a growing burden for their community to have a Bible-believing Christ-exalting, Great Commission-focused church that preaches the Bible straight from the Word of God. And, and they have had this burden, and they have built a community group around this burden, and this group has grown. And so what we are doing is we are coming alongside of this community group, and we are turning it into a new congregation of Christ community. Right now, Christ community meets in three services. We're soon to meet in four services and in two locations. And so what we're doing is we are building a core team for Christ community in that area, in the in the Denver Iron Station area. So if you live in that area, if you live in sort of the um, Northwest Charlotte, West Huntersville, South Denver, Iron Station area, we want to invite you to join the core team as we seek to launch something new in January of 2022. But we need you to do it. We need you to pray. We need you to have a burden for it. And we need you to go. Now, if you're not in that area, what I need you to do, if you live outside of the five miles around this campus, my prayer is that God would put a burden on your heart to have a desire to reach your community with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And some of you have a real burden for your community. And we would love to one day come alongside of you and your community group that is growing, that is reaching people to begin a new congregation. Christ community in your area. Church, we're really excited about all the ways that God is advancing the gospel through the ministry of Christ community. We're so excited about going forward on mission with Jesus together. I hope that you'll pray for us as we step into these waters, as we step out in faith to see future generations have what we get to experience in the fruit of faith. I love you, church. These are exciting days.